When it comes to showing the love, nobody does it better than Carlin. Oh, we're going to have a nice time today. She's going to be my instructor and guide today. With Snowy Owl Tours, everyone starts with a half hour orientation. Now as a parking brake, a nice hard pack section of snow, give that a kick. Now that is only an assist. We do not trust it 100%. <laughs> the dogs seem to know that soon it will be time to go out. We're going to let the other teams head out first. <laughs> to my surprise, the proper command to start going is not mush. It's hike. Okay, hike, babies, hike. Yeah, let's go. With Snowy Owl Tours, you do have the option of letting an instructor drive or the freedom to drive your very own dog sled team. Time to meet my team. Alma, your lead dog, a Apache, and he's Siberian Husky. And he's gonna be your solo lead up here, eh, buddy? Apache's gonna run the show. Yeah, you're gonna run the show. Hi, boy. The very gorgeous Shira, Princess of Power. That's her full, full name, but we just call her Shira. Hi, Shira. And she is called a Canadian Indian Husky. So this is our breed closest relative to the coyote. And then, of course, the two brutes, your big boys, the wheel dogs, the power. Come here, boys. Skooky, come on. Because they are bigger, they generally are slower. So that's why they have to run back here. Otherwise, if they were up front, they would slow the whole team down, wouldn't you, boys? And then, uh, of course, the driving back here. The funnest part. <laughs> yes, the funnest part. So most importantly, your number one most important rule. Never let go. Never let go. So you always have your hands on the handlebar at all times. Very important. Second most important, stopping the sled. Two feet on the brake, all of your weight, as hard as you can. Yeah, you got her. That's it. And also remember positive encouragement and reinforcement because these dogs thrive off of love. So good dogs, good puppies. Really make sure that they know they're doing well because they'll pull their little butts off for you. So they're no different than men. All right, away we go. Carlin leads the way. It's a brisk winter day, but it's beautiful out here. We're a half hour drive south of Banff and Canmore in the heart of Alberta's Kananaskis country. The Rocky Mountains look stunning. A whiskey jack watches us go by. It's a postcard day. Good puppy. Good puppy. These dogs are born to run. Don't you think it even looks like they're smiling as they go? One thing I didn't realize, as a musher, you need to get off the rails and run up the hill. It certainly helps keep me warm. I am having a blast. Got amazing dogs guiding me, beautiful scenery. The wind. Probably not very safe to let go because you're never supposed to let go. Hi. Carlin is a musher from birth. Her parents started the business before she was born, so she's been a musher since she was knee-high to a Siberian husky. For her, the greatest joy is seeing how much fun others like me have doing it for the first time. yee And sometimes people have tears in their eyes, they give you a hug, they're so excited. And that, that truly is why we, we love to do this. Good puppy! The reason we use six different breeds is not just because they're the best at what they do, but it's also so people can see breeds that would normally be in places like Baffin Islands, Akalawit, Nunavut, or even Russia. You know, the Stepala Siberian Husky comes from Russia. And the Inuit Husky, the Hudson, the big fluffy one that we saw today, you know, he's originally from Yellowknife. Carlin says the Canadian Inuit Husky is almost extinct with just 400 registered in the world. And that's why it's so important to preserve these bloodlines. Good puppies! Before you know it, our 10K ride has come to an end. Wow, Whoa, what an experience. Excellent power slide. Now it's time to give our hardworking crew some doggy Gatorade. It's a mix of protein and fat. Because the dogs have been eating snow, that actually dehydrates them. So like humans, we need to drink and consume room temperature warm to keep ourselves hydrated. So in these thermoses, we bring boiled water, and by the time it touches, the cold bowls, it's a good temperature to drink. These dogs burn 2,000 or more calories in a day. They're fed after each run. And you want to slide them in nice and close so that there's no argument over who's is who. As an extra reward, the dogs get a nutritious, tasty treat. Carlin tells me to be careful or my fingers could be part of the snack. 
It turns out many of my fellow mushers have come from far away places. We, we thoroughly enjoyed it. It was great fun. Even falling off was good. <laughs> you fell? Yeah. Please tell us about it. I can't. I just fell off. <laughs> one minute I was on the sled and the next minute on the ground. It was awesome. The whole the whole trip. Like I've done the two hour trip before and the four hour trip was just amazing. Did you take a fall at any point? Uh, no. We ran through a tree. <laughs> only a small one. But it was great. No falls. No. It was good. If you guys want to check out these amazing tours, just visit snowyowltours.com. Hi, Avalanche. Hi.